Welcome to this channel, which is a class on research methods by Dr. Lydia Wabugo. This is a class where we discuss everything social science research, from understanding the research discipline, research philosophy, the elements of scientific research, and the methodologies of conducting research. Feel free to ask any question regarding today's lesson on the comment section. Welcome. Welcome to our class today, where we are going to discuss the differences between quantitative and qualitative research approaches. In our lesson 10, we have discussed two research approaches. We have discussed basic versus applied research approach, and we have also discussed quantitative versus qualitative research approach. We have said that basic research is used to develop theory and its findings are not for immediate use. Whereas applied research is used to solve an existing problem for a client. We have also discussed quantitative as that approach that collects numerical data, whereas qualitative approach collects narrative data. Today, we are going to discuss the differences between quantitative and qualitative research approaches. So let's first look at the learning outcome for our lesson today. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to differentiate between quantitative and qualitative research approaches. Just to remind ourselves what we said in lesson 8 and 9, we said that at every stage in your research, you will make a number of assumptions and beliefs. These assumptions are about human knowledge, which we call epistemological assumptions, about the realities you encounter in your research, which we call ontological assumptions, and the extent and ways your own values influence your research study or process, which we call axiological assumptions. And because of those assumptions that we hold, remember we said researchers will adopt different research approaches. And those approaches are the ones we have discussed in lesson 10. So we are going to look at the differences between quantity and qualitative research approach. And we have a table that will help us understand the differences between the two. So let us look at this table that gives us a comprehensive analysis of the differences. We will differentiate by the criteria that differentiates between quality and quantity. And we start with the basic one, which is purpose. The purpose of qualitative research is to understand and interpret social interactions, whereas the purpose of quantitative research is to test hypotheses, identify causality, and make predictions. Why are we saying that? Because remember, qualitative aims to discuss or investigate phenomena in depth, that means understand it in depth, whereas quantitative breaks social phenomena into variables and con constructs, and that is why we are, we are testing hypotheses. The other criteria is the group studied. In qualitative, the group is smaller and not randomly selected. Why? Because we are looking for a small sample that is information rich because our aim is not to generalize the findings. 
quantitative studies a large sample which is randomly selected to ensure that it is representative of the population because the aim is to generalize the findings to the wider population. Criteria on variables. Qualitative studies the whole, not variables, whereas quantitative studies specific variables that are meant to answer the research questions regarding the phenomena. Type of data collected. Qualitative collects words, images, or objects from phenomena. That is why we refer to it as narrative. When as quantitative collects numbers so that statistical analysis can be applied during analysis. That is why we said it collects numerical data. Forms of data collected. Qualitative research collects data such as open-ended responses, interviews, participant observations, field notes, and reflections. Whereas quantitative research is based on precise measurements using structured and validated data collection instruments. Type of data analysis. Qualitative identifies patterns, whereas quantitative identifies statistical relationships. The issue of objectivity and subjectivity. Qualitative is highly subjected, whereas quantitative is highly objective. In terms of the results, qualitative results are particular because they are based on a case and they are not generalizable. In qualitative, we do not use the term generalization. In case the findings can be applicable beyond the case, we talk about transferability. In quantitative, the results are generalized and they are applied to other populations. What is the role of the researcher? In qualitative, the researcher brings in their bias and they are also known to the participant. In quantitative, the researcher's bias are not known and even the participant characteristics are deliberately hidden from the researcher. What type of scientific method is applied? In qualitative, we apply exploratory or bottom-up scientific method. This is where the researcher generates new theories and hypotheses from the data collected. That is why we said they use inductive reasoning. In quantitative, they use confirmatory or top-down scientific method. This is where the researcher starts with hypothesis development, then tests the hypothesis and the theories from the data collected. That is why we said quantitative uses deductive reasoning. The human behavior in qualitative is very personal, whereas in quantitative it is predictable. The common objective of research in qualitative is to explore, discover, and construct meanings. Whereas in quantitative, it is to describe, explain, and predict phenomena. The focus of qualitative is to discuss phenomena in depth. Whereas in quantitative, they test specific hypotheses and therefore the focus is a bit narrower than the qualitative. The nature of observation. In qualitative, behavior is studied in the natural environment of the phenomena.
Whereas in quantitative, the behavior is studied under controlled conditions where you can isolate causal effects. The nature of reality. In qualitative, it is multiple and subjective. Whereas in quantitative, it is one, fixed and highly objective. Finally, in terms of the report, qualitative report is mainly narrative with contextual description and direct quotations from the research participants. Whereas a quantitative report is highly statistical with correlations from comparisons of means and statistical significance of findings. We also have a section that explains some of the differences in a bit more details and also captures some of the differences that are not in the table. So we have talked about the nature of reality. We have talked about axiology that the researcher brings in their bias, but we did not mention epistemology. In quantitative research, the researcher distances him or herself from the research, whereas in qualitative, the researcher becomes an insider by lessening the distance and spend time with the research. Type of data and type of analysis. So we have said quanti collects numerical, whereas quality collects narrative data. So the numerical data undergoes statistical analysis, whereas narrative data goes through thematic or inductive analysis. Language used, quantitative is highly formal scientific language, whereas qualitative is highly informal in a narrative style with the use of the personal voice I. The designs that are used, and this will be discussed in our next lesson, qualitative uses three main designs. That means the designs that collect numerical data are survey, experimental, and ex post facto, while designs that collect narrative data are five, ethnography, biography, grounded theory, phenomenology, and case study. This will be discussed in our next lesson. Sampling. Quantitative uses probability sampling, where every member of the population has an equal chance of inclusion in the sample. Why does it use probability sampling? It is because the findings of the study are aimed at generalization. Therefore, you must collect data from a sample that is representative of the population. Quantitative or probability sampling designs are random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified cluster and multi-stage sampling designs. Again, we shall be discussing sampling in our coming lessons. Qualitative uses non-probability sampling design where respondents are deliberately selected and they are selected based on the information that they have. Remember we said qualitative does not aim to generalize findings. It aims to de discuss and explain phenomena in depth and it therefore deals with an information rich sample. Common non probability sampling designs are purposive sampling, snowball, convenience, and quota sampling. Again, in our coming lessons, we are going to discuss sampling. Instruments or measurements. Now, instruments that help us collect numerical data are questionnaires, interview schedules observation schedules, and tests and examinations. 
instruments that help us to collect narrative data are one, the researcher. So the researcher is the main tool in qualitative data, but he or she is assisted by interview guides, observation guides, focus group discussion guide, and document analysis guide. Techniques of data analysis, quantitative uses statistics, and the analysis is based on the four levels of measurement that we discussed at the scales of measurement. While qualitative utilizes inductive or thematic analysis. In this analysis, the researcher identifies themes and patterns that emerges from narrative data. This brings us to the end of our lesson today where we have looked at the differences between quantitative and qualitative research approaches. We started by saying that these two approaches subscribe to different paradigms and they therefore have got different philosophical assumptions and beliefs. In our next lesson, we are going to discuss the research designs that emanate from each of the approach. You do not want to miss this lesson. So until then, feel free to comment, to like and share this video with your friends. I hope the lesson was helpful and for you to attend more lesson like we have had today, please subscribe to this channel. See you in the next lesson as we discuss research designs. Bye for now.